What you guys got another video here for you on all you need to know about file and folder permissions inside Windows. And it doesn't really matter whether you're using Windows 7, Windows 10, uh, you know, Windows 11. I'll show you exactly what you need to know. So let's first go into our C root directory here and create a folder. So what we're going to do is create a folder in here, say, for instance, WorkShare or something along those lines. And maybe you've got a bunch of people that you want to control uh, what they can look at and what they can't look at on this folder. So right click on it and go to properties. Inside here, we're going to go to the security tab. Once inside here, we're going to click on the edit button. So click on edit. And this will open up another window. And from here, we're going to click on add. So click add, and then we're going to add the everyone to this area here so let's click everyone in here and then click check name and then click OK once we've done this click apply OK and then OK again and this brings us back to where we was which is the work share so inside here we can now create a new folder and we're going to call this say for instance invoice or something along those lines or whatever it is that you want to create your folders for and this area is where we're going to give access to users. So let's go inside here and right click on this folder and go properties. And then we're going to go to the security tab. Once you clicked on the security tab, go all the way down to the bottom here and click on uh, the advanced area here. So you should see the advanced security settings for this invoice folder. Click on the disable inheritance on the bottom left. Click on remove all inherent permissions for this object and then we can click on apply and you should see a window security popping up here. So say yes to this and then click OK and then OK again. Now we've removed all the permissions for this invoice uh, folder here. So if I go clicking on it, it's going to say you don't currently have any permissions to access this folder. That's because we've removed all these permissions, but I can still edit the permissions on this because I'm the administrator. So what I'm going to do here is change all the permissions for the users. So let's go ahead and right click on the folder here and click properties and then go back into uh, the security tab again. And now from here, we can click advanced in the advanced security settings for this invoice folder. We're going to click on now the add to add some permissions in. So first off, we're going to select a principal and from here, we're going to select our admin account, which will be, say, for instance, Brightech. You can check the name and you should now see this come up on the list here. Yours will probably be called admin or something like that. Click OK and we're going to give the admin full control to modify, read and execute and read and write and all that sort of good stuff. Also, we now need to add in another permission for someone else that might be wanting to get access. So select another principle and do a search for users on this PC. So we're going to check this name here and there's Sally on here. So we're going to click OK and we're going to give her read and execute permissions, this folder contents and also and we'll only give her read permissions as well. No write permission. Click apply and then click OK. And that is now done. We can click OK here. So let's uh, check out the permissions by right clicking on the invoice here now and click properties, then go security. And you will see the groups and usernames for this folder here. And as the administrator, you can edit these. You can see the sort of permissions these users have got. So we can also click on edit here and add more users if we wish by clicking add. Let's say add Jim here. Do a check name to make sure he's on here. So click OK. And now we can give Jim some permissions as well. So maybe we just want him to be able to see the folder, but he won't see what's inside of it. Or maybe you just want to hide it from him and block him from completely accessing that area. So we'll leave it as it is here where it says list folder contents, but he won't be able to see any of the data inside here. Click apply and OK. And then uh, we can now click OK again. So we should see now Jim has got listed folder contents. Sally's got read and execute listed folder contents. And also she can read it, but she can't edit any of the uh, information in there. Only Brightech can. 
So let's create an invoice inside here. So let's go and create a new text document. We'll just call this a invoice. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll just put some text inside here so you can see how this will work. So let's go ahead and uh, just put this as a test. And we can go ahead and uh, save this document here. And as the administrator, I can create documents, edit documents and read documents. And I've got full control over this area here. As you can see, I can open things up and I can also create, delete and edit these documents. So now let's go ahead and uh, change accounts to, say, for instance, Sally and see what Sally can do here. So let's go ahead and change accounts and sign into Sally's account here. And once we get to the desktop, I'm going to go into this PC, our C drive, and we should see our WorkShare folder here. So let's go ahead and log into our WorkShare, then go to invoice. And you can see the invoice is here. And of course, uh, Sally can access it and read it. She can actually see uh, this document and read it. But Sally doesn't have the permission to edit it or delete it or any of that sort of stuff. And that's because we give her the uh, amount of access that she's required to, say, read documents, but not edit them or even delete them. So you can see here, if she tries to edit this document, it'll say you need to obtain uh, admin permissions to edit this document. So she doesn't have the power to edit them. And even if she tried to delete the file, maybe she wanted to do something mischievous and delete the file. She wouldn't be able to do that because she doesn't have administrative privileges to delete that file. So you can give her access to reading of the document, but you're not giving her access to edit it or even delete it. So that's the permissions that Sally has to uh, look at the files, but she can't do any of the other permissions. So let's change accounts to Jim and see what Jim can do here. So let's go ahead and click on Jim here and we'll log into Jim's account. Now Jim can uh, see the contents. We've listed the contents for Jim, but we're not giving him any access to open files up or edit files or even delete files. So let's go back into our C root directory here and look at our work share. You can see the folders because we've allowed him to list the contents, but he can't read even that document because he doesn't have the permissions to even read what's in it. So what this video is teaching you is how to set up permissions for files and folders and users on uh, the computer. So you can basically understand how these permissions work and you can use this for other things like sharing uh, documents and files across the network with other computers as well as users as well. So if you've got stuff on your PC that you don't want someone else to see, maybe it's a family computer, then maybe you want to set up permissions for a particular type of folder that you don't want them to be able to access or see. And this is how useful this sort of uh, information is. So let's go back into Jim's account here. If I want to try to edit the permissions myself, I can't because I don't have uh, the permissions to edit this. You need to be the administrator. And of course, you would have uh, a password on that administrator account to stop the person logging into the administrator account and literally changing any of these permissions. So let's log back into the administrator account, which is Brightech. Now, of course, you would need to have a password on this account to stop anyone logging into it to make changes to uh, those uh, folder permissions here. So I'm going to right click on the invoice folder here as the administrator, and we're going to go to the security tab and you can see the accounts here that have permissions. I'm going to click on Jim here and click edit, and I'm going to give Jim uh, some permission to do what he wants with this uh, particular folder. So let's give him uh, full control. But you can restrict whatever you want. You can put modify or whatever it is you want to give one person access to on that folder. And it could be an array of folders, drives, or anything like that. So let's go back to Jim now and log in here and see what Jim can do now we've changed the permissions. So remember, Jim's now got full control of this folder here. So let's go in here, invoices, and we can now open up and we delete 
this file where we, before we couldn't do anything with this file. We can edit it. We can read it. We can literally do whatever we like because we've given full permission on that file and on that folder. So that's basically what that does is you need to set permissions for certain files, folders and drives that you want to give access to for each individual that's using that computer. And if this is great for if someone's got a family PC and you've got maybe multiple accounts on that one PC and you want to stop them accessing certain stuff, then this is essential that you set this up. And it's also good to know how to understand and use permissions on a computer. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I'll see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.